Hi, my name is George Billingsley. I studied geology at NAU, got my degree, master's degree there, and learned how to, what geology is and what to do. But the main learning part was going in the Grand Canyon to see it. So once I figured out where I was on the base map, what part of the canyon I was in, then I could look and see what I was looking at and then I could start drawing in pencil on the base map the lines representing a contact between a rock formation and another rock formation. Formations change from one side of the canyon to the other rapidly to where you really have a hard time recognizing what it is. So you gotta hike all the way down there and somehow get over to look at the place you think you don't know what it is, but you got to see it up close to figure it out. And that took a little doing, a lot of hiking. But it was worth it. I learned a lot because I would stop and see things on the way. I'd look at the rock, see how it's changing from here to just over there, and why it's changing by studying it with a hand lens up close, get a sample. You can see whether it was a floodplain deposit or sand dune deposit or shallow water or whatever it was that was making the rock formation and then how it would change from here over to there that you're looking across the canyon and once you do that several times then you could recognize what formations what where at least in general then you could draw your lines on the topographic base representing the contact for each formation when I get back to the office, I'd have a topographic map base on a mylar, and I'd have a clear film, classic sheet, and they're hole punched to match up so that you don't mess up. I'd lay the plastic sheet over the base, then I could draw my lines, and after I got my line work done, I would use the Leroy lettering set with all these different scales of lettering, I get a ink pen, which is this. And the little ink pens are in this container right here. They're different sizes. I take one out. And this is what you put your ink in. And then you attach it to the pin. Tighten it in there. And it's got zinc. This is the needle that's, that traces all the lettering on each template. The Kaibab formation is right here. I could put a Permian age which is a P, that's the geologic age, and the name is Kaibab. So you do a P, and then move it over, get the smaller letter for Kaibab. So you have a PK telling you that unit within that line everywhere on the map is Permian Kaibab. There's this USGS color for that age and that's the kaibab the rim of the country and it's blue so most of the map on the rim anyway is blue and each formation changes color as you go down older and older into the bottom of the canyon when i finally got most of the eastern grand canyon done then that was the part that looked like a dragon if you mentioned it yeah, I thought, well, yeah, I guess it kind of looks like one, but I didn't really give, pay much attention to it. But the name stuck over the years. And everybody that looked at it didn't know much about geologic maps would see that eastern Grand Canyon section. And they could visualize a dragon just from the pattern of the formations the canyon had carved.